Hello, my name is Andrew Kozlowski. I'm an artist living and working in Jacksonville, Florida, and this is my piece titled Variable Collection. In my work, I'm attracted to the idea of how malleable our understanding of history becomes, despite the brevity of human existence. What we piece together from archaeological digs has told us a lot about our history, but the picture is also incomplete. Projecting forward, I started to cultivate a roster of candidates from the 21st century that might go forward to tell the story of who we are today. What you're seeing here is a sample of the cast of characters that I've been collecting for the past several years. They span all sorts of experiences and include drawings made from museum collections, guilty documentation of fast food lunches and disposable coffee cups, objects that represent news stories that have came and went over my Facebook feed in a matter of hours or minutes. Here, they are presented mute, faithfully displayed as in a museum collection or a cabinet of curiosities. Their provenance is stripped away and their size has been managed. Perhaps you can name a few, but naming and knowing are different things. You might recognize a floppy disk, a brand of beer, or the bust of a celebrity. You might guess at their importance, but without me telling you directly, your guess is as good as anyone else's. The trick is that you want to make sense of them, and they are displayed in a way that suggests a specific order, but they still lack a concrete sense of identity. The question then is, how will you make meaning of these objects? What connections do you see? The first real important words that I li learned living in Italy and learning Italian were questo and quella, which mean this one and that one. Paired with pointing at something you want to eat, they are wonderfully powerful words that can get you almost anything. What I love about scientific illustrations is how specific they are. They say this one and that one with such confidence. Their designs are beautiful, stiff, ordered, and generally so unlike what they depict. They often forego expression, leaving no choice but to totally and completely accept what you are being shown. This one is fact. Though I appreciate the sturdiness of facts, I can't help but acknowledge the gulf between naming a thing and knowing it. We still don't know what half the stuff is buried in the earth, how it got there, who put it there, if they had a good life, let alone the stuff that ends up in a closet, an attic, a basement, only found when you move out, or when someone dies, or when you want to renovate something old for something new. For all the times we found things, dusted them off and labeled them, despite the research, the writing, the museums and libraries, as many times as we've done all these things, the orderly curation of things still doesn't capture the entire picture. We can name a lot more than we know. In my experience, I hope to balance knowing with naming, abstraction with exactness, research with story. I want to recognize those parts that can't quite be understood, labeled, or named, those parts that make us incapable of doing any more than pointing and saying, this one, that one.